When we finish today, please stick around. As you'll notice behind me, um, in one corner we have a backdrop where we'd love for you to gather to take pictures with your teammate. That's not even today. And on the other, we have the Go Big um, table set up. Um, some of the kids brought in balloons, some of them flowers, same thing. So we would like for you to take advantage of that. That's why we sent them up today. The other thing is before you leave and go back to class um, or work, go on with your day, grab a water and cookie and mingle for a little bit. I think we're going to have a little bit of time at the end so you can do that. Um, that's it for the announcements. So welcome to our 2023 National Letter of Intent signing ceremony. You all have gathered here today um, to celebrate the six student athletes seated before you as you watch them sign their NLIs, committing them to the school of their choice. Before we begin, I'm going to pass the microphone over to our athletic director, David Cohen. Stand and applaud 
maybe even blow a kiss for your parents and their relatives right here. You've got one, two, three, stand. Just now, applaud your parents. You got a thumbs up. Well, thank you all for joining us today. What a great day for St. John's, St. John's Athletics, Maverick Athletics, and these student athletes seated before you. You know, by the end of this ceremony, we will have a Commodore, two Wildcats, a Terrapin, a Longhorn Steer, and then a Oiler. Not a Houston Oiler for us old people that remember the Houston one. They always say slow and steady wins the race, but here in Texas, I would have to bet on the Longhorn or maybe the Oiler. But first, we begin today's introductions with our newest Commodore. Reese Amishan. All South Sun, all SBC, senior team captain, and four year varsity starter and letter winner. Reese's volleyball talents just flat span the globe. A member of the USA National Team Development Program, Reese is an ABCA All American a USA Junior National Team All-American, and a member of the USA Girls Junior National Championship All-Tournament Team. Now, if that weren't enough, Reese also holds the school record in the 100-meter dash with a time of 12 was the first committed athlete for Vanderbilt as they restart their volleyball program in the Southeast Conference this year. It has been 40 years since they had a volleyball program and Reese is going to lead them all the way. Let it go. Now I'm going to, for each of the six, I'm going to read you quotes that are from their coach. This would be from Coach Urban. I have had the pleasure of knowing Reese from the very start and seeing the volleyball player that she has grown into, no surprise to me. She is everything you want in an athlete, leader, and captain. She's selfless, empathetic, and earned the respect of her teammates by being the constant example of what it means to work hard and give 100% all of the time. The impact she has made goes well beyond all these records, awards, and accomplishments. Although those do say a lot about a volleyball player that she is. Congratulations, Reese. All of your hard work has, work has paid off, and you are a perfect fit for Vanderbilt, where Ivy League-level academics meets SEC-level athletics. We are so proud of you. Would you like to say a few words? Hello. <laughs> um, first and foremost, I would just like to thank God for giving me such an amazing passion and gift and the opportunity to play this sport surrounded by the people that I love. And secondly, um, a big thanks to my family and friends for just being the most amazing support system that I could ask for. Thank you to my parents for literally everything, the time, the money, the energy, and support. I would not be here without you guys. Thank you to the St. John's community and this um, for all the love over the years, I have learned amazing lessons as a student athlete here that I am so blessed to take with me as I transition into this next stage. Thank you to the St. John's coaching staff, Coach Selby and Coach Nick, for truly bringing the best out of me and giving me the best high school experience that I could have imagined. Coach Selby, thank you for being such a great mentor and positive influence and for truly developing my ability all around as an athlete. Thank you to my Skyline coaches, specifically Coach Brendan, Coach Alex, and Coach Amy, for being the best teachers on and off the court. Thank you for investing in me, not only as an athlete, but as a person, and for giving me skills and lessons that I will carry for the rest of my life. Thank you to my amazing teachers for not only preparing me academically, but graciously working with my busy schedule. And thank you to Ms. Peterson for being the best advisor and second mom. You have had an immeasurable impact on my high school experience that I am so grateful for. 
Thank you to Miss Kim as well for literally getting me into college. I know I actually probably wouldn't be here without you. And thank you to the training staff, JJ, Kleinstep, Carrie, and Alex for being so amazing at what you guys do and for helping me feel like my best self. And thank you to everyone else who has ever supported me over the years. Thank you now. Thank you, Reese. Next on the list will be Juliana Boone. She's heading to Northwestern for field hockey. All SBC and another magic athlete whose talents have spanned the globe. Juliana has been a Max Field Hockey first team all region and all American, a member of the Dutch national team, a European champion, and a shootout national champion, and will be trying out for the USA national team this winter. I just grew up here in Texas, I don't know. Uh, Julianne, did you know that Northwestern is currently ranked number one in the nation for field hockey and that it is the coldest field hockey program in the United States of America? <laughs> Quoting Coach Becky Elliott, Juliana burst onto the St. John's field hockey scene straight from a move from the Netherlands last year and made her presence known immediately with her dynamic, <coughs> excuse me, smooth and intense play. Her positive mindset, determination, and hard work for herself and those around her help her to build a high energy environment and make her mark as a top goal, not only in our region, but in the nation. Juliana, we're excited for you and your new adventure in Northwestern. We can't wait to watch you in Cage doing all those amazing things that you do. Out of way to go, Juliana. Would you like to say a few words? Hi. I just want to start by saying that none of this would have been possible if it weren't for my amazing support system. I want to start by thanking my parents for always being my number one fans, for traveling around the world to support me and celebrate both big wins and big losses with me. Coming to Houston wasn't easy, but with the two of you by my side, I instantly became my new home. I want to put my mom in the spotlight a little bit because of the recruiting process, because not only did we move here with just the two of us, but we also traveled around the country together, meeting new people, seeing new schools, and learning new things. Sorry, I'm start crying now. <laughs> I want to thank my big sister for peer rushing me into playing field hockey. I wouldn't be here without her. I know she's watching the live stream back home, so I miss her a lot. I want to thank my amazing coaches at both Texas Pride and St. John's for supporting me through all of it, for being patient with me, and being kind. And I want to thank my amazing teammates for welcoming me into this the program and into this city and supporting me as if I were here from the start. I want to say a big thanks to my friend Stubbs, who not only took care of me physically, but also mentally when I needed some advice or a big hug. When my father wasn't in the country yet, he stepped up and played for me in the dad game, and that's something I'm very grateful for. I want to thank my close friend, Mom Memory, for always putting a smile on my face and giving me a big hug after a tough game. And I want to thank my girlfriend, Abby, for writing my recruiting emails and, and supporting me through the tough parts of the recruiting process. Lastly, I want to thank St. John's and Coach Halligan for setting up this amazing event today. And I want to say a huge congrats to all my fellow athletes beside me. Thank you and go Pens. Number three will be Bella at Contorna headed to Davidson for track and field. of this year's track team and Maverick Award winner, Bella's personal record vault of 12 feet 6 inches as a junior last year was not only a St. John's school record, but it was also in the top 100 in the nation. She will join six other co vaulters at Davidson Wildcat next year. Now, did you know that NBA MVP and All-Star Steph Curry played basketball for the Davidson Wildcats. Now, as good as Steph Curry is at basketball, I bet he can't fall 12 feet, 6 inches. <laughs> Quoting Coach Richie Mercado, Bella joined my pole vault activity group in the 6th grade and immediately showed promise. With some prodding by me, she was convinced to come out for track in the ninth grade. 
Breaking our school's 20-year-old record not once but twice, Bella has become a national caliber pole vaulter. With hard work and determination, she has set the bar high for all of our Maverick vaulters that will follow in her footsteps. Bella, Coach Presley, and I, and our entire Maverick track and field program, wish you nothing but the best in your pursuit to reach new heights next year as a Wildcat. Would you like to say a few words? Um, I just want to start off by thanking everyone for coming today. I'm so grateful. Um, I want to big, give a huge thank you to my friends, family, coaches, and teammates, and everyone who's helped me get there, and my parents for the countless hours in the car, and all the support after all of my needs, and to my coaches for always supporting me. I know it has been a difficult journey to the least, and they just always been there supporting me, and I'm just so grateful. And to my wonderful and incredible friends and teammates, I really couldn't have gotten here without you. Through all the hours of me talking about football and all your support throughout the time, I'm just so, so, so grateful. So, thank you so much. And go out, Pat. Now on the list, Christina Johnson headed to Maryland for field hockey. of this year's field hockey team, Christina's talents on the hockey pitch include being named All-SBC since sophomore year, first team All-Region, second team All-American junior year. She was a gold medal winner in the AAU Junior Olympics, competed on the USA Under-16 Women's National Team, and is ranked nationally in the top 50 by the Max Field Hockey. Did you know that Maryland Field Hockey is the third most successful field hockey program in the country behind the University of North Carolina and Old Dominion? They have eight national championships. And I bet you that with Christina, they're going to move down the list. Maryland's moving up. Now, quoting Coach Elliott, she has been one of our leading offensive players in scoring and has helped to lead her team as a captain this year. All of her hard work, her perseverance, and tenacity helped her team to many successes and to achieving her goal to play at that next level. It is amazing to see all of her growth and success and know she would be doing those amazing things at Maryland. Congratulations from all of us, Christina, and we can't wait to see you do all those awesome things on this turf next year as a Turk. Would you like to say a few? Hi. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking Coach Halligan for um, setting this up today and all the other athletes here. Very lucky to be here with you guys. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking my coaches, Coach Elliot Mercado and Vogel, and Coach B for the cross season too. Uh, I'd also like to thank Tina Edmonds and Adam Adam, my other pride coaches, for supporting me throughout this process. Uh, I'd like to thank my college counselor, Ms. Kim, um, because, like Grace, I would not be here without her, and I appreciate her support throughout this process. Uh, I'd like to thank my amazing teammates on the St. John's team, SBC champs, back to back. being there for all the tournaments and late flights and everything that's that whole. Uh, and I'd like to congratulate the other athletes next to me because um, it, it's truly an honor to be sitting here signing with the rest of the respect for you. So. And now we have Carson Luna heading up to Austin for University of Texas baseball. Carson is All-SBC in 2023 and captain of this year's team. He played in the 2023 Texas Scout Association All-Star Game, was the 2023 Silver Slugger Award winner, 
the Don Mattingly World Series MVP, and a member of the 2022 USA Baseball National Championship team. Now, UT Baseball leads the collegiate record books in most categories and is often considered one of the best and most iconic programs in college baseball history. They are also known, Carson, as the loudest and most boisterous crowd in the nation as well. So enjoy yourself up at UT, and I know we will get a couple of these from a few people out there. <laughs> Quoting Coach Emmerich, Carson, a co-captain this year, has taken the baseball program to another level with his competitive attitude, excellent focus, and amazing work ethic. I am honored to have such a great young man to lead and show others what it takes to be at that next level. Congratulations, my friend. I want you to enjoy today and be proud of what you have accomplished, but know that you have some unfinished business to see in the spring. And to you, better thank Carl and Jan for taking you all over the country to showcase your skills. Hook em horns. Hello. Well, so I would like to thank everyone who helped organize this and make such a special event for us. Uh, it's an exciting day for me. I'm, I'm glad that I get to celebrate with so many people that have helped me. Um, so I today I want to thank them. First, of course, my parents and my brother, who have always been my number one supporters and have taught me uh, how to work hard always and encourage me to pursue my goals. Love you guys. Um, I'd also like to thank all my coaches and instructors who have taught me skills and given me valuable advice and have been mentors for me, uh, especially Coach Jeremy and Coach Quinn. Um, of course, thank you to Coach Evers and Coach Baker, uh, Coach Halligan and Coach Copeland for making SJS a special place for me to be able to compete in the sport that I love. Um, and of course, to my baseball teammates over there um, for always making me a better teammate and a better player every day of practice. And I'm fortunate to have so many amazing teachers, and especially Ms. Uh, Garza, my college counselor. Um, SJS has been a special place and an amazing part of my life. And I'll do my best to represent y'all well at Texas. Hook em. Last but not least will be Cora West at Finley Oiler in Lacrosse. <laughs> Cora is captain and a four-year letter winner in both lacrosse and cross country. Cora's accolades include all SBC and athletic excellence in cross country and all South Zone in cross country and lacrosse. In 2022, she was selected and played for the Texas National Lacrosse Team. Quoting Coach Ben Cosme, small but mighty, she is one of our fiercest and toughest competitors on and off the field. She never gives up or shies away from her competitor and is constantly pushing and making those around her better. Cora is one of our fearless leaders this year and a true force to be reckoned with. It has been an honor to coach you and watch you crush it, whether on a lacrosse field or during a break dance battle. I don't know what that means, but many of you are laughing. I can't wait to watch you shine next year at Finley. Now, how about this last observation? Both of Cora's parents are petroleum engineers, and Finley's mascot is the Oilers. Okay, Cora, you're up. Hello. Thank you. Um, firstly, I would like to thank my coaches who helped me grow my love for the sport and pushed me through the hard times, even though I had a late start in the sport. I'd like to thank Coach B, Coach Vogel, Coach Ronnie, um, Coach Campbell, I'd like to thank Kleinstub for emotionally and physically supporting me through this when I escaped to his room. I was just, um, very nervous to go to Prospect Camp, but I was like on the verge of tears, and he supported me. 
Um, I would like to thank my family who've been with me through the ups and downs, taken me to these tournaments, supported me, hugged me, and lastly, I would like to thank my teammates and my friends who've always hugged me with super much excitement, and I love you all. Thank you. Okay. Family, friends, <laughs> coaches, teammates, teachers, administrators, those watching from home. Can we get just a second here? We're going to get a three second countdown and get those pins ready. As we're at these Mavericks, I'm going to make it official and sign it on the dotted line. Ready? Three, two, one, sign. 